Hi, I'm Professor Peter Mumby, Chief Scientist of the Seacrest Project, and we've just spent the last 10 days visiting different parts of Sulawesi. We started in Salaya, and that was a really very interesting trip. Um, we found that people are currently actively engaged in trying to develop a new spatial plan for managing the coastal zone, um, and that's an opportunity, I think, where Seacrest can really help. And some of the issues that we saw are, are very pointed. Um, we went out and looked at the reefs, for example, and it was very clear that whilst there is potential for things like tourism to grow, because they do have nice reefs, they are chronically overfished. And um, we saw very clear evidence of reefs that have a sort of depauperate fish community. The reef is beginning to lose its resilience. You can see some of the algae growing much larger than you would normally see them. And um, addressing these sorts of problems uh, comes hand in hand with trying to deal with some of the fundamental problems of fisheries. Um, simply, we've got often overcapacity in a fishery. And one of the great things I think that Seacrest can help with is by reviewing the business opportunities that may help remove some of that capacity from the fishery and reduce some of the effort on there, which could then re help rebuild the fishery to make it more profitable for those that stay. And of course we also saw some really fantastic examples of, of local entrepreneurial spirit. Um, we went and visited uh, a cooperative of local women that are looking at processing fish for different sorts of applications. And it's a very small scale, but it's relatively successful and there's a lot of opportunity to grow that kind of business. So, you know, it's a fascinating place. The people were incredibly warm and friendly, welcoming. And uh, we can see, you know, great opportunities to, to work in, in a place like Salaya. Uh, we then went to Panket, which is a really vast area of Indonesia. Um, fascinating set of issues there. Um, stretching from the watershed, where there's a lot of agriculture, a lot of runoff and pollution onto nearby reefs. And then the further offshore you go, you'll find some really relatively pristine water clarity and, and really quite thriving coral reefs. But again, of course, there's, there's pressures on the fishery. And in fact, whilst we were snorkeling at some of the sites, we could actually feel and hear bombs going off as people were fishing in distant locations. And, and this really indicates that you've got a situation where a number of people just don't have the skills to fish adequately. And one of the things the government has been doing is actually providing facilities to help people who are currently or have recently been blast fishermen and give them the equipment and training they need so that they can actually actively participate in the fishery without having such devastating consequences to the reef by using bombs. So it's very interesting. There's a lot of, again, a lot of challenges there that could be addressed through spatial planning. In that region, the local government, with the support of the sort of regional uh, offices of the national government, have gone forth now and have a draft plan that's been sort of pretty well thought out. Um, so they're a little further along in terms of the planning process. Um, but yeah, overall it's been a very interesting trip. We've been very fortunate to have such uh, great support from our partners here in Indonesia. And uh, we're really looking forward to you know, getting down to business and, and trying to work with our partners and provide some solutions to some of the problems.